I wanted to give him a hard time. I wanted to somehow fire him on the set and like cause drama, but I couldn't because he was so awesome. <laughs>my brother Kirk is in an episode this season so that was a really fun fun surprise it's a little bit of like a 90s episode so Lisa Loeb is in it as well as my brother Kirk and that week I was directing as well so I can't even tell you it was a dream come true to direct my brother my brother and I have acted before when we were younger mm -hmm. together. So I was on like three or four episodes of Growing Pains mm -hmm. and he was on one episode of Full House. And since then we haven't done anything, uh, any kind of movie or television show together until season five of Fuller House. Oh, it was, it was so great. My brother was awesome. He was so game. He just walked onto the set like he'd been, he, like he never stopped doing a sitcom. <laughs> he was really funny, but he was so supportive and proud of me directing. So he's like, can just tell me whatever you want me to do. And I'd come in and tell him what I wanted to see. And he would just give me everything and was very receptive to whatever direction I had for him. So it was actually... I mean, it was fun. I wanted to give him a hard time. I wanted to somehow fire him on the set and like cause drama, but I couldn't because he was so awesome. <laughs>Natasha is on an episode of Fuller House this season too. As a mother, it was another dream come true. And um, she did a great job, but she, I mean, she's pursuing her own career. She's auditioning, she's, she's working, and I'm so proud of her. And, uh, you know, she's funny because I've actually asked her to do some other things, uh, projects that I've been in, projects that I've produced, and she's like, Mom, I want to do this on my own. Like, thank you, but I don't want to be in anything that you're in. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I really respect it. And so she, she actually didn't even know if she wanted to audition for Fuller House. And I, un I understood where she was coming from. But I was like, it's totally up to you. But you'd break my heart if you didn't. <laughs> you know, it was one of those like mom moments. But she did. She auditioned and producers loved her. So... Oh yeah, I love it. I yeah, she's she's great. And then I I have my buddy with me, you know? Mm -hmm. She's my baby and we're so close. So um I it's just a dream to be with my kids all the time and then to be able to work with them and share in the the craft and the art is even more exciting and fun. <music>her advice when she asks for it because I gave her a lot of advice growing up and now she's an adult uh, but she actually asked me for quite a bit of advice so I I still do but it's she like not unsolicited advice DJ's definitely more lenient as a parent than Candace is. Because there are a lot of scripts where I was interjecting as Candace as a parent to the writer, saying like, dude, you, kids can't talk to their mother that way. Like, no, I, she, you, she, DJ's not taking that. Like, she needs to put them in their place and tell them that, you know. And so uh, I'm a strict parent and uh, a little more strict than DJ, but we found a really good balance. No, my boys have no interest in acting whatsoever. Uh, my youngest son is, my, both my boys have played hockey, so more like uh, their dad. Yeah. And um, yeah, and my oldest son is in school and working for our family business, so we're really proud of him too.